Three things you might not have heard of or might not already be using that are really, really good to have on hand for a brew day. These are fail safes that if something goes awry during your brew day, during fermentation, or if you just need to make sure that you're creating consistent, crispy beer, you should have these on hand. The first is a combination of nutrient and energizer. Uh, the nutrient I have here is just White Labs nutrients. Uh, white yeast is also phenomenal. And most companies make a quality nutrient. Uh, it's basically a combination of DAP and vitamins for your yeast, but it makes sure that they can be as healthy as possible. And as we've said before, yeast health is the number one important thing for making consistent beer. Yeast energizer, that actually absorbs fatty acids that can stall fermentation. So this is a good thing to add in the middle of most fermentations, just because, or especially especially if you start to get a stuck fermentation or your fermentation is slowing down, a little bit of yeast energizer or what I have here is called nutrient vitamin is a really good way to make sure that your beer finishes out consistently and cleanly. Combination of nutrient energizer, these both together might run you six bucks, maybe 10 bucks at the most. And it's a really cheap way to make sure that your beers are gonna be crisp and consistent every time. The second thing that I think is a really important and fun thing to have on hand is a combination of enzymes. I actually carry two enzymes. Uh, one is going to be a mash enzyme. This is Amylex 4T and it works at a high temperature. So this is a good thing in case you have a high adjunct grain bill or in case you're not sure that you have enough enzymes in your mash to completely convert all the starches into fermentable sugars. This thing doesn't start to grating really rapidly until 150 to 160 degrees. So a high temperature mash enzyme is a really good way just to make sure that you can consistently get that conversion that you want no matter what your grain bill is. Um, and if you're doing starch tests and failing, this will do the job super, super fast. Amyloglucositis or a uh, AMG style enzyme also works at mash temperatures, but this is good to have on hand if you need to dry out a beer. Let's say you mash too high or your enzymes didn't work very well in your mash to make your beer super fermentable and you're worried about your beer finishing too sweet. A little bit of AMG is something you can add during fermentation to make sure that your beer finishes out a little drier and it doesn't take very much. A very small amount of this can go a long way in dropping your beer's final gravity. So a couple of good things to have on just for troubleshooting either during your mash or during fermentation. And again, these aren't very expensive. So they're a really good thing for home brewers to have on hand during their brew day, just in case. The last thing that I think is really important to have with you if things go awry is let's say you're trying to get a beer finished in a reasonable amount of time. You want to have your beer ready to serve in two to three weeks, but it's just not dropping bright. It's not a crisp, clear beer. A two-stage fining agent is a great thing to have just to make sure that you can get that beer to drop bright and get your beer finished and ready to go and looking good in a shorter timeline. So what we use is super clear. It's basically a combination of Kytosan and Kieselsol. Uh, Kieselsol is also known as Biofine. And basically this is a two-stage fining agent to make sure that your beer can look bright and crisp at the end of the day. So it's a good thing to have on hand. Not that you're gonna need to use it in every single batch of beer, but it'll make your beer look pretty. Thank you for watching everybody. If this information was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. I know this was a shorter video, but if you like these quick tips, uh, please comment below. If you've got any questions on any of these things, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And again, likes and subscribes and shares, that all helps us. So, so, so do all that. And we have a podcast. Actually, we just upload our weekly live streams to podcast form, but they are available on pretty much every podcasting source, including iTunes and soon to be iHeartRadio. If you can't find it anywhere else, go ahead and go to our website. They will be there along with shirts. Buy those.